Hey you guys! Alright, I have a quick little fun puzzle for you guys tonight. They're minis! So there's actually 500 total pieces in this box, but there are 12 individual puzzles and they're desserts. Oh my god, it's like it's a puzzle made for me. I love yummy sweet things. Kind of have a thing for sugar. And, alright, I have a couple of very special surprises for you this episode, you guys. I need your help with something, so stay tuned. Hey, you guys. All right, today I have a very fun puzzle for you and a couple of very cool surprises. I thought this would be a really good day to do this puzzle because it segues so nicely into one of the surprises. I have in my hand a 500 piece dessert puzzle who can argue with that? Because I really, I have a thing for sugar. If there's nothing else that is my vice in this world, it is yummy, sweet things. Mm. <laughs> 12 different mini shaped puzzles in the form of dessert, very much like what you can see on the box there, how they've got that little Sunday example. Um, the little lineup of them is there, but you'll be able to see them better as I'm doing them. I've done a couple of these little mini puzzles before with like their 500 pieces, but they break off into different little puzzles. They're really cool. Like it's, it throws you off a little cause you don't always know the exact size of what you're trying to build, but fun nonetheless. And I have a real life surprise for you. One of my viewers, a shout out to Emma. You were asking what a freezy is. We had mentioned it videos and videos ago, and I'm so sorry it's taken this long to show you. Um, we've had a couple other videos on deck. It's just taken some time. Today, I am introducing to you all freezy. Now, okay, you are gonna see two different sizes here. One of them is correct, and the other is for lunatics. These are freezies. Very much the, the best way I have to describe this is this is like a frozen slushy in a tube. It's just um, ice water that is flavored. They come in all different colors of the rainbow, usually fruit flavored, and you can get unique special ones. Like I think this one's a warhead one possibly. The problem with this one is it's real tiny. Like it's so small, you can't even see it. This is a proper size crazy. <laughs> Casey seems to think these ones are better. They are. They are not. You can have two okay. of those for one of those, so I get two but, flavors. But by the time you taste this one, it's gone. Well, when you th the first bite you taste it. Yeah, but it, it's gone after the first <laughs> bite. Like, look at this. You can't. I'm sorry, you can't look at it. You can't see it. It's so little. But like. It tastes good, and I get two flavors. Okay, I'm not going to argue the point that it tastes good. It does taste good. There's just not enough of it. Okay, here's an invention for all you uh, freezy guys. Make make the big ones two flavors. What one half one flavor and the other half like actually as you're doing it freeze it and then make so it's you know cherry and then. That, that's almost like mixed food, and we we all know how I feel about <laughs> mixed food. Well, too bad. Well, yeah, take your stupid small freezy. But yes, these are freezies, very much like popsicles. If you guys have those, um, just frozen fruit flavored water basically and i love them so my question is if it's just because it's the way we pronounce it in canada what do you call these in your country yeah i'm really curious do you guys actually have these is there something similar or uh, like or is it just that we got this weird name for it like you said and i think i'm pretty sure every country's got them well, but we probably call them different though. Possibly, yeah. Like I know some places call them ice pops, I think. Yeah, like ice, a, ice. whereas we think of it as a popsicle, which would just for us be um, a little wooden stick with basically the same thing, only it usually forms in like a cone shape. Yeah. Yeah. So let us know. What are these for you guys? Do you have them? Have you ever seen them before? And uh, big or little, size matters. And what's your favorite flavor? Oh, um, Oh, okay. That is definitely got to be the no-name brand, surprisingly, and the peachy flavor. And you can only get the peachy flavor in the no-name style brands for whatever weird reason. Mr. Freeze, if you ever watch this video, you up your game and you make a peachy flavor because it's the best one. <laughs> but they don't know what they're doing. Why would they take the best one out of the box? I don't know. Anyways, as I have to do a puzzle, I'm going to put these back in the freezer real quick. And then I need a favor, you guys. <laughs> I don't want to 
it to turn into slush. Oh, well, you That's not a fun it. treat. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Today, we have a brand new mascot on the channel, and I need your help. This is the unicorn. I promise that won't be its name forever. <laughs> Today was my last day at my day job. I'm, I'm gonna full-time focus on our new business venture on this. And I had a cute little toy on my desk because we all know I can't be normal. I can't just have an office. I have to have, like, if any of you guys have ever seen the US version of The Office, I had to have a Michael Scott office. <laughs> I had to. I couldn't be normal. I had an elephant-shaped pencil holder. I had little Funko Pops. I had to make my office fun. And I had this little guy, but he doesn't have a name. And if it's left up to me, he will be named the unicorn forever. <laughs> I cannot name anything to save my life. I need your help. What is the name of our new mascot? Shout it out in the comments, leave suggestions. Help me, <laughs> help, help the unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Please, <laughs> for the love of God. Yes. She's right. horrible at naming things. I am. I, I have a, um, I have rabbits, stuffed animal rabbits that are named Hoppy and Carrot, and I have um, a polar bear named White Bear and a black bear named Black Bear. So <laughs> that's about as creative as I get when naming things. I'm creative otherwise. Anyways, help me help the unicorn. What is his name or her name? All right. I have a puzzle to do, and, mm -hmm. uh, time. Oh, I'm holding That's that. That's too like... weird to do this one. Well... Because it's, it's basically 45 pieces each or something. Sorry, you have to pick a time. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no get uh, out of jail free card for you. No, I'm going to say it's going to be in the low end. I'm you gonna think say, so? Yeah, I think, because it's going to be 12 little puzzles. It'll take you no oh. time at all. I'm going to say 35 minutes. See, I don't know if he's right or wrong, you guys. Like, I really don't. Like, on one end, yes, little puzzles, easy. On the other end, 12 of them, that's a lot of moving parts. Like, it might, it might cause problems. It could, it could. Don't it try really to could. justify more time. Huh? Like, look there, at like, There's nothing that matches. There's nothing, the oh, only no. thing I could see that might throw you off is the berries on top of that one chocolate cake. And how they're in the other. And that's it, that's the only well, thing. I guess we're gonna find out, you guys. I won't even try to haggle today. I'll just take 35 minutes and run with it and uh, I'll still beat him. So, let's get into it. Alrighty, you guys. Okay, let's see what we're getting into. Oh yes, okay, so like the last one I've done, it does give you kind of like a little map of what you're looking for. Those are really cool. Am I up. starting now? No, I have some glue. Well, what the, they're already put together. What is, what? Ah, that's not, wait, I lose. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do, apparently. The puzzle says, you lose. Look, I'm done. Um, yeah, I, I I will take these apart just a second. So you Bear with me. No, that's cheating. Okay, see, like, there's a cookie. There's more pieces to that than I thought. You're getting a preview of everything now. Well, oh, that's not good. Well, I can't I help get screwed it. over now. I now you get that. I can't help it. It came this way. You saw me open the package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not my fault. I didn't do that. I didn't preview them. I promise I didn't cheat. Like this story. You're the cheater in the room. <laughs> name w one time where I cheated. You tried to start the time at, a, at, at name, early. Name two times. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> you tried to give yourself extra time. That's name name three up. times. Yeah, well. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. And you always try to start the timer and not tell me about it to screw me out of time. So, um, yeah. Yeah. That's just being that's, smart. That's, not that's, cheating. that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That is cheating. Yeah. This is a pain in the butt. Why did they have to put them together? I just want to start. Like, now that I'm looking at them, this does look easy. Sorry. No. <laughs> I was thinking about that driving to from work. It's thinking. I just did a 100 on that race one, but it took, like, when I looked at the, the time, it was like 20 some minutes, and I still wasn't done. Mm -hmm. But I did a 100 Pokemon in 16 minutes or something. Mm -hmm. So clearly, larger sizes, easier pictures, mm -hmm. makes a huge difference on 
It does, I think, yeah. Like, the picture is everything. I mean, if this was 12 little all black puzzles or something, like, we'd be here till tomorrow. But it's... If I had finished that penguin, or, yeah, penguin puzzle, the, mm -hmm. or no, the, the clownfish one, the hundred piece one. Yeah. I probably still had, I probably would have taken me till 35 minutes or so. Mm-hmm. But that's still over double for doing Pokemon for the same piece count. The Pokemon was really easy. Like it had the really good color breakup. Like well, it was that's, well. Yeah, that's what I mean though. So it's it's hard to judge mm -hmm. how long a puzzle should take. We've been pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. I I have to wonder if that's an anomaly. Like if other people have as wide a range for yeah. the same piece count as you do. The Pokemon was, even though I didn't know the time. I thought I thought I'd already wasted a half an hour. Mm -hmm. Even though I was stressed for the time, I did find it much easier than the 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 clownfish. The, the clownfish one. And again, it was crappy quality pieces too. It really was, and that does make all the difference, I think, or at least some of the difference. All right, now I promise, because I've just broken these up, I'll mix it together really good. You better. I won't cheat. I'm not a cheater like you. Satisfied? Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, that's alright. You it's can okay. you can live with this. You can live with it. I like that the backings are all colored individually. Like, I mean, that's a really good sorting strategy for people that want to try them as individual puzzles. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, because you know this is one dessert, that's another. It's pretty cool. It's nice of them to give you that. All right, I am prepared. If you are ready, ready, ready. By the up. way, I can see the timer. Oh. I don't know if that's relevant to you or not. Uh, yep, yeah, it is. So you're not seeing it now. I forgot I, I was being nice and then I realized uh -huh. you were being really nice you don't need to see that I time. almost didn't say anything but then I decided I'd be a nice person uh, this finally well I just realized I really don't I don't have I'm, I'm sorting out edge pieces that's silly that no, I don't know how to do that do you sort out some edge pieces well Interesting. Maybe I want to take a different approach to this. I think I do. Okay. I'm going to do the donut. So, you guys, I almost did my normal strategy of sorting out edge pieces, but I don't know if that's going to work right now because they're shaped puzzles and they're all shaped differently. So, I think rather than waste time on that, I might tackle them as individual puzzles. And I think I'm going to start with the donut. It kind of jumps out at me the most. There's a couple others that are really grabbing my attention, but I think my time would be best spent if I just flipped all the pieces and sort it. Like, as I go. I think that's hopefully the most efficient use of my time. Puzzle is taking form.
actually a really fun puzzle. Like they're quick, they're easy. Um, what? <laughs> they're quick and easy. Well, hey, you know what? You only gave me 35 minutes. I might still have to spin the wheel. How many of them are you done? Uh, two almost completely. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> How many do you have done now? Um, done four and working on six or seven of them. Are you not just doing one at a time? Um, see, some of them I'm kind of hippity hopping on. Like I, I sorted out some pieces and then I saw other unexpected cake pieces. You know how I am. I know how you are. <laughs> I get distracted easily. She is a science experiment. Gone right, wrong. I'm not sure. I'm a squirrel. I was gonna say you have the, you have this weird mind of a squirrel mind. You probably were born with two brains. <sighs> one that can do puzzles really well, and one that just gets distracted. I don't know you guys, I feel like I've wasted a lot of time, but I'm still having a lot of fun with this puzzle. I like the desserts, it's, they're so, their colors are cool, it's very vibrant and inviting and fun. I don't care if I spin, I don't. It's just beans, that kind of fits the theme. Oh, I wonder if they make like a really, like a large, like a, a big hot jelly bean or something, or a, a large, I should find. Are you, are you trying to think of instruments of torture? What are you doing over there? I'm thinking, how cool would it be to, to have a, um, a Jelly Belly, one flavor that's t 10 times the size of a regular one, and that's something that you you, know, you, you could spin and eat, and you have to eat the whole thing. Oh, jeez. I think you're trying to torture me. seem to be any large ones. Um, because people don't want to be tortured. I'm surprised they just don't make large jelly beans. Mm. I know there's been larger, like, like no-name ones, but I'm surprised there's not larger gourmet jelly beans. Oh, maybe they're not popular enough. Jelly beans? Are you insane? Jelly beans are disgusting, let's be real. I am real. That's the thing, I actually don't like regular jelly beans. I hate them. They do make a jelly belly popsicle. Mm, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick to my freezies. They make jelly belly fizzy water. Ew. 
I don't like sparkling water either. Oh, I hate it. I, actually, I don't really even like carbonation. I'm not a big fan of pop. I'll have one every so often, but I actually prefer it flat. Okay, you're... Something <laughs> happened to you as a child. <laughs> Who likes flat pop? I'm not asking the general public because the answer is clearly zero. It's well, better. Well, it's one. <laughs> you. <clears throat> How is it better? How is flat There's pop? none of the disgusting fizziness. That's, and the, you can just that's the fun eat, part of you. pop. It's gross. My god. Yeah, when I was a kid, when, uh, did, did you have Kool-Aid as a kid? Is yes. Kool-Aid, well, it doesn't seem to be as popular now. I always thought, like, why don't they make Coke flavored and root beer flavored? And people were like, well, you need a fizz. And like, yeah, but some people just want the flavor. I like, I like root beer, you know, that's mm-hmm. good. Like, I like root beer flavor. So why don't they make just powdered mix? Mm-hmm. So many, so many ideas as a kid. It's like, man, if there was a way to have engineered and invent or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I had tons of ideas. Good old Kool-Aid. And then no name Kool Aid. Hmm. And then the competing brand Freshy. <laughs> that just doesn't have the same ring to it. No, and there wasn't quite a whole lot of um, no name stuff yet. Mm-hmm. So everything, everything, everything was pretty much all name brand. And then slowly companies realized they could put out the same crap as a no name. Mm-hmm. Kind of, you know, it's, it's charged a little bit less, but it was all the same stuff. But if you went to someone's house and they had freshie packs, you're like, oh, I'm at the poor person's house. <laughs> they don't have Kool-Aid. You're my poor friend. They have freshie. Watered down freshie. Mm. Poor kids. They couldn't control what their parents <laughs> bought. No. Maybe their parents just couldn't justify paying whatever Kool-Aid went for back in the day. Poor person. No, no, no. We never had. We had, we had Kool-Aid um, and Tang. Um, but boy, would I ever put a lot of sugar. <laughs> um, I think uh, every child opted for the most sugar. I did, boy, we put so much sugar in. There were times where I would do a package of it, mm-hmm. of the Kool-Aid, and pour sugar and lots of sugar, and then add water a little bit, and then I only a little bit of water and mix it around and be like almost like a syrup <laughs> and I'd be like hmm I'm gonna drink some of this and it was like just flavored sugar is awful oh was, man god it was amazing it's amazing you didn't give yourself a heart attack as a kid <laughs> it just oh it was so good buzzing around the house what's the matter with him oh he had too much freshy oh I know why now freshy was so freshy it was the Canadian version of like so Kool-Aid was round, uh, but in Canada they made Freshie. Oh. So we aren't good at naming things. But it was, it was some companies like, this Kool-Aid thing looks pretty good, so let's make our own. Mm-hmm. And the flavors, oh, so, no, I didn't know this. So this, here, so they used to have a flavor of orange, mm-hmm. grape, cherry, lemon, lemon lime, blueberry, raspberry, fruit punch, and uh, root beer. Oh. So they actually had a root beer flavored. Freshy. Freshy. Huh. Maybe it was better than you thought all along. Yeah, but there goes my idea of inventing pop flavored Kool Aid. <laughs> Cannot patent it. Try again. Yeah. Try a new get rich quick scheme. <laughs> what? Uh, it's someone, a singer, is like, hey, does anyone remember when I grew up in Canada or whatever? And he's like, as a kid, um, 
We didn't drink Kool-Aid, we drank Freshie. Anybody else remember this stuff? Yeah, it's a picture of it. The first thing was like, rich kids had Kool-Aid, the rest of us had Freshie. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, I can say we weren't rich growing up, that's for sure. Jelly bean, jelly bean, Max is eating jelly bean. Probably. I feel like I've wasted a lot of time, but I, I'm having fun. I like my dessert puzzle. Jelly bean, jelly bean, Max is eating jelly bean. What is this? What? Where? Oh. This. Okay. Boom. What was it? What was it? Oh, that's not oh, bad. That's, that's really close. not bad. That is very close. See, I thought I wasted more time than that, but they were really fun. The berries did throw me off a little bit. I am hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could go for some cake right now. They just look so they, good. They look... Why do they all have to be cake? Couldn't they could... have had other candies on here? I could, yeah, they, and... I know some people don't like the word, but they look really moist. <laughs> and it looks so good. Um, this one, I think. This one's my favorite because it's just so colorful and bright. Oh, a close second would be this, though, because that looks like caramel. That does. And it looks just like even... Oh. I, I'm fine with any of the cakes right now. Oh, man, I've got to have a cake now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm so sorry if we have just made you want sugary desserts. Um, tell your local grocery store when you went in there. Yeah, I just watched this chick on YouTube, and now I have to... I, like, I'm obligated to be here. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Anyways... 43 minutes. I will spin the wheel. Maybe I will get a reverse. No. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm taking that off. The, I'm taking it off. No, you can't. I, I like that one for the wheel. I think it needs to stay. I do. Now, that being said, these would be far too small. But I wish they were real because, yes, now I want cake as well. I want, I really <laughs> I want, really want cake. cake. I really want cake. Like, I like, where do I get cake that I don't have to purchase a whole cake? That looks so uh. good. Right? I want that one. I really do. Even the, the, uh, sun, the sandy brownie? Yeah. That looks amazing. So, um, you guys, a good point in their favor. Obviously, um, Crayola Crazy Art, they make really good image quality, obviously, <laughs> if they've now made us hungry. Um, and the pieces went together really well. So there's that. Do not forget, I need a name for my little friend. Um, and male or female, like, I, I've always thought of him as a him. So I think we should stick with male. But, you know, he needs a name. He's just, he's happy. He needs to be called something other than the unicorn. The wheel. Oh. Wheel. Pointy. Little narwhal pen. Boom! Oh, that was an aggressive spin. I mean, I still stand a chance at getting some hot ones, but mm -hmm. like, oh crap. Mm -hmm. There's one in the chamber. <laughs> one second. Get your juice. No! Ah, I refuse. No juice? No, I refuse to eat the hot one. Oh. How about a freezing? No, I don't want one, thank you. <sighs> You're eating the wrong size, by the way. I'm not. By the way, you guys, I literally just took the whole bottle of juice out of the fridge. I, I plan to probably drink that straight. <laughs> oh, it's a hot one. Need one more, come on, go in the chamber. Oops, uh-oh, bye. You. I think it's gonna be gross. Oh, but I'm gonna get, oh, 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 I stand a chance at not. Three, five, 
two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. being a gross flavor. Oh, yeah, this is like garbage or something. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. The weird brownie spot one, like garbage bean. Mm. Rotten egg, okay, okay. Let's wash down some dog food. Um. Bubblegum. Yeah, I was gonna say, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a good bean. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is it gonna be hot? Oh yeah. This right. is cayenne, it's the mid-tier one. Actually, I tasted a little bit of kick on that bubble gum. So, here we go! When they're crackly, they're hot. It didn't look. It was darker though. Huh? It didn't look like. It didn't look like a hot one. You guys, that's amazing! And here I thought I was screwed. Oh well, well, I guess I don't need this anymore. That's exciting! Hooray! All right, back in the chamber you go. I think the humidity in here is causing problems for the beans. I cannot wait to get into a real studio where hopefully that will not be as much of a problem. Anyways, you guys. Remember to help me out naming my cute little unicorn. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good night, you guys.